Hello everyone. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about so we have discussed about regression versus classification. So what is regression? What is classification? And few examples also we have discussed. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about regression in detail. Okay. Now let's summarize what we have discussed in the previous session. Okay. So in the machine learning, a regression problem is the problem of predicting the value of numerical variable so this is what we have focused on the previous lecture right so regression we are predicting the value of numerical variable based on the observed value of the variable right in the case of classification our output variable is a finite set of variables right finite set of output but in the case of regression we are predicting the value of a numerical numeric based variable okay the value of the output variable may be a number such as integer or a floating point value. These are often quantities such as amounts and sizes, right? So we have discussed the example of this also. The input variable may be discrete or real valued, right? Now, regression algorithms are used if there is a relationship between input variable and the output variable. Here we have y is equal to f of x comma theta, right? So, y is the output variable and x is the input variable. So, so we can say x is independent variable and y is dependent variable on x. So, it is used for the prediction of continuous variable, continuous variable, right? Such as weather forecasting, market trends and etc. So, logic behind this we have discussed in the previous uh, session with the help of example. So, we have, uh, you can watch that session, right? Now, what is the general approach for this regression type of technique, right? So, let x denote the set of input variables, right? The set of input variables and y is the output variables. In machine learning, the general approach to regression is to assume a model that is some mathematical relation between x and y. We have input variable, we have an output variable and the mathematical relation between them, we can consider it as a regression model, okay? So, involving some parameters, say theta in the following form, that is y equals to f of x comma theta, right? Now, this particular function f x comma theta is called as regression function okay remember this and based on the number of uh, variables and the type of the variable we name it as different regression function right different regression model so we'll discuss that the machine learning algorithm optimizes the parameters in the set theta such as approximation error is minimized right and so what is that error basically that is the estimate of values of the dependent variable that is y are as close as possible to a correct values given in the training uh, set, right? So basically, what we can say error, that is residual error. So in this case, suppose y is my actual output of a, from a training data set, right? Y is the actual output. And here, and say y dash is my predicted output, right? So the difference between actual and a predicted one will be a residual error and we try to minimize that error so that in our model should be more correct or more accurate we can say right now there are different types of regression techniques so we have discussed the regression function that is y equals to f of x comma theta right so based on this particular expression we have different regression techniques right so these techniques mostly differ in three aspects so which are those number and the type of independent variable so depending on the number of variable x and the independent and the type of the variable we can classify the regression technique the type of dependent variable and the shape of regression line so based on that we can categorize this regression technique so first one is simple linear regression so what this simple linear regression suggests so what as name suggests, there is linear, right? So, there is linear relationship between independent variable x and y. Y and x, you can say, right? So, there is only one continuous independent variable, say x, and assume relation between independent variable and dependent variable is y equals to a plus bx. Because it is linear regression and we have only two variables, y and x, right? And the relation between y and x is linear. So, that we can say this expression is y equal to a plus bx. So, you must have discussed in the mathematics like y equals to mx plus c. It is straight line equation, right? So, same thing. It is the same thing, right? Instead of uh, b, it is m. Instead of a, it is c, right? So, we'll discuss this equation in detail. But why we got this equation? Because in terms of linear regression, there is linear relationship between independent variable x 
and y, right? So that's why we can say the simple linear regression, and the equation is like this: y equals to a plus bx, right? Now, what about multivariate li linear regression? So this is also in our syllabus, right? So there are more than one independent variable in the function, right? In the regression function. Here you can see in the regression function, right? Say x1 till xn. And the assumed relation between independent variables and a dependent variable is given as like this, right? So here you can see x1 is one of the independent variable. We have x2 also, for example, a2, x2, right? Till a and xn. So here you can say x1 to xn are the independent variable and there's a number of independent variable so depending upon the number and type of independent variable we are categorized it as multivariate linear regression right this is also linear regression but it's a multivariate because here we have more than one independent variable right here you can see right so this is the equation for multivariate linear regression so please remember that we are going to discuss this in neat in detail in the later part of the course because it is specifically mentioned in our syllabus. So we are going to discuss this. So don't worry about it. But as of now, multivariate means there are multiple, uh, there are more than one independent variable in the regression function. That's it. Okay. Now what about polynomial regression? So as name suggests polynomial, so equation must be polynomial, right? So there is only one continuous independent variable x. And the model is assumed as like this, right? So here you can see the expression is in the term of polynomials, right? For example, y equals to a naught plus a one x plus a two a a two x square plus a three x cube. There is only one independent variable, but type is different, right? This is linear. This is right. So this is parabolic, right? So there are different types of variables are here, right? So this is a polynomial expression we can say, right? But it is a variant of multilinear regression model, except that the base fit line curve is a straight line, right? So it's a curve rather than a straight line, right? So here you can see if we plot the base fit curve for a simple linear regression, it is a straight line like this, right? Passing through a points. But in the case of polynomial regression, it is a curve. Here you can see it is a curve, okay? So this is polynomial regression is so simple as that we have an expression polynomial expression and uh, the graph of this particular uh, base fit line is a curve instead of straight line in the polynomial regression. So it is not mentioned in the syllabus but this thing is sufficient to answer the question right. So I will also give you the difference between the all the types of regression at the later part of the course so you can uh, so that will be sufficient for this polynomial right. Then we have reach regression very very important gate point of view very very important gate point of view because one question has been asked from gate uh, sample paper right if you see sample paper there is one question based on this right so simple question but we should know the concept right so rich regression is one of the type of linear regression in which the small amount of bias is introduced so that we can get a better long term prediction okay so small amount of bias is there right to get a long term prediction and this is a regular regularization technique so which is used to reduce the complexity of the model okay we'll discuss that and it is called as l2 regularization so please remember rich regression is also called as l2 regularization there is also something called l1 regularization okay so that is basically a, a lasso regression that is not in the course that is not mentioned so we are not going into that so only we are going to focus on rich regression okay now, what about logistic regression? The dependent variable is binary, right? So, that is the variable which takes only the value 0 and 1. Assume model involves certain probability distribution. So, we'll discuss this when we are going to discuss about logistic regression. It is a little bit complex, but yeah, don't worry about it. We are going to discuss it, okay? So, that's it from this particular video. We have discussed about the regression and different types of regression technique. So we are going to discuss one by one from the next video. So we are going to start with a simple linear regression. Okay. Then we'll discuss about multivariate linear regression. And then we'll discuss about this rich regression. Okay. So in this way, we are going to proceed. So that's it from this particular lecture. Thank you.